Hey guys, check it out. Classic Mini. This is a tech hub. There's electric new Mini there as well. This is a tech hub. This is what I'm hosting at the British Motor Show. This is what I'm doing here. What I want to do is I want to take you on a little walk around just quickly to show you what's happening at this amazing event here at the Farnborough International Center, uh, Exhibition Center, 17th to the 20th of August. If you can, come down. So this is the BYD Hall where I'm going to be. You can see Monster Energy over there. This is where you book your dream rides. There's lots of stuff that you can actually, you know, it's not just, it's, this is not the kind of motor show that you just look at stuff. There's, you can already hear activity over there in the corner. There's a drifter arena, I think. And this is the sort of place where you get to do a lot of stuff. You actually get to be involved in a lot of stuff. Check this out. This is Auto Alex. So this is his little stand here. And he's got, this is his famous MX-5, but he's also bought an E30. We were chatting about this the other day. This is the E30 that he's bought. So he's going to be doing some work on that one. And um, this over here is the Cinch Live Arena. So that's, so that's where a lot of activity is going to go on. There's a lot of stunts, lots of stunts, lots of live action stuff is going to be happening here with Mike Brewer, Alex, and a bunch of other people are going to be coming up here and doing stuff. This is hall number one. That's the main hall of the main building over there. But this is not it. So actually, if you look, way way down there that's where the classic car stuff starts and then the classic car stuff goes all the way across to the motorsports area and in the motorsports area you've got petrol hedonism in that area as well so there's modified cars there's motorsports cars and more activity more racing more live action stuff there's so much live action stuff to see at the motor show if this is the thing that sets this thing apart from any other event because already you can hear the stuff that's going on there you'll be able to see car football and crazy antics the sort of stuff that i got involved in recently videos on the channel so go check that out but yeah just lots and lots to see and do i'll give you a quick look at the inside of the hall number one as well and you know what i can hear him say something good morning say he speaks he speaks the man speaks what are you doing here buddy i'm here with the sporting bears obviously you're here with the pretty smart show people for the next four days down here at Farnborough, so come down and get a photograph of Rizzo. Oh, so are you going to take people for rides? Rizzo. Are you going to take people for rides as well? No, sorry, I'm not allowed to do any rides. <laughs> but he is doing pictures, and really cool pictures. Come down and see him at the British Motor Show. Awesome. So let's have a quick walk around, very quick walk around the main hall. I think let's go this way first. We'll go right down the middle. Um, the trouble with this uh, motor show for me personally is that I'm actually quite busy over the four days. I think I will have Sunday afternoon a little bit more relaxed because I think that the, uh, my, the, the venue that I'm using, the Tech Hub stage, is going to be taken over for an auction, the Eubanks auction that's happening on Sunday afternoon. So at that point, I might have a little bit of freedom. But as you can see, the main live action, uh, the main, not live action, but the main stage is in action. There's Fuzz. Buzz from Car SOS. There he is. He is here somewhere in the building, probably, but I reckon he's probably up to no good. So do check your pockets, make sure your wallets are there, uh, make sure that your wrist, your watches are on your wrist, and that you have all the personal And you know what? He's not joking. He's not joking. Tim is probably on the hunt, so this is some amazing cars here. Now this is the thing about the British Motor Show. Everybody thinks that it's just, because when you say motor show, it's not surprising because a lot of people think that they will just see stuff like this. So the brand new cars um, from dealers and stuff like that. But in fact, it's an amazing opportunity to get up and close and personal to incredible metal like that. Of course, you do have the brand new cars, but even on these stands, I mean, this is Marshall, um, but look at this. Marshall which is known for a number of brands. But check this out, isn't that beautiful? Please do not touch, okay, don't touch that. But it is absolutely gorgeous, that, look at that. And we got Honda, we got BMWs, we got Minis. Over there, there's Kia. So it's a great opportunity, but also look, this is for the hobbyists and the DIYs amongst you. You know, you can look at tools, you can look, and of course, this is what the Tech Hub, the where I am at is also is what this is about, because over there, We'll have the AA. In fact, the whole tech hub, the, the stage set itself this year, which is really cool. I'm so happy with what they've done this time is that it actually resembles a garage. So there's like tool trays and stuff like that. And there's two actual cars. As you saw, there's two actual cars uh, there as well. And it's a good location. It's right next to the Cinch Live Arena. 
So if you get a little bit tired from watching the, um, uh, the action out on there, which you probably won't because it's fantastic, but if you do, you can always come in and sit down and li listen to us and what we're talking about at the Tech Hub. But there's lots of amazing stuff going on. Obviously, oh, he's back. His Tim is there now, look. So, at the Tech Hub, we'll be looking at the future of motoring. We'll be looking at EVs, we'll be looking at technology, we'll be looking at the future of motoring. It's absolutely spectacular. There's so much going on, there's so much to discuss. But there's also hands-on stuff, so there's kids stuff going on as well, on the Tech Hub. So there'll be a kids workshop. Haynes Manual, Haynes Manual, the Haynes Museum guys, uh, they are going to be doing a kids workshop there. This is Cinch, check it out. So I'll talk you through the rest of the hall here. This is hall number one. Like I said, so here you've got the brand new cars. A lot of electric cars is here as well, so you get an opportunity to see these. This is Subaru. Volkswagen. These are fantastic. I mean, you know, as EVs go, we, we bringing back traditional classic cars in the style that they are in a completely new and modern way is a fantastic way to do it. Look at this. Matted out. That's a cool looking thing right there. Oh, Nissan GTR. And when I say Nissan GTR, hey! And when I say Nissan GTR, I mean an actual, like to me, this is a Nissan GTR. Win a drift car experience for the whole family. Check that out. See, that's what you want to be getting involved in. That's the legendary R34. That to me is a proper Nissan GTR. So this is great. What I love about this is that even the stands where they've got the brand new cars, um, but there's always something a little bit of a surprise there for you to look at. So My Energy is where you can charge. This is all about uh, home charging for electric cars. Look at that. Alpine F1 car on the Alpine stand. But over here, I mean, this thing is a legend, of course. And now, of course, they're doing a, a kind of a road legal version, isn't it? This is the one. So they, on the My Energy stand, you get a chance to look at the McMurphy Spurling. And I've not seen it painted like this, so I'm guessing that this is a little bit of an exclusive. This is the actual car that you can buy, I guess. This is a road version of it. So that's incredible. In fact, whilst I'm here, go take a selfie with that, right? Let's do that. <laughs> so, the, so, that, so that's incredible. Look at that. Nine, Porsche 911. Oh, look at that thing. Now that's something special right here. I've got to get in here and have a look at this. Look, at this is from the National Motor Museum. 1,000 horsepower, Sunbeam, the first car in the world to attain a speed of over 200 miles an hour. Look at that. And it just goes on and on and on. It, it's never ending. In fact, if I pull across like that, that what a thing what an absolute thing to behold well we're in the presence of something very special there i tell you and special here as well i mean look at the beautiful color that is the uh, brown car guys next car what do you reckon because it's brown well kind of brown <laughs> yeah right <laughs> those are lovely i love those vans so the retro looking vans the morris ge van you know and there's a, it's a beautiful Ferrari there as well. These are great. Oh, there's a little version. Isn't that so cool? Oh, you can get, oh, how cool is that? You can get these helmets for kids. Look at that. That's absolutely wicked. You get a helmet for children, little paper helmets. What a great idea that is. I think that's just, that's just absolutely fantastic. Oh, thank you. Isn't that great? Brilliant. Very nice. And later I'll come back. Thanks so much. That's awesome. Huge lineup of amazing supercars right here. Check it out. Some incredible cars. Over here, you can see these incredible supercars, but also over here, you can see these incredible. And look at that. In fact, ooh, ooh. Ferrari, the Ferrari. Ferrari, the Ferrari. Ferrari, the. Oh, what's back there? Oh, no. Oh, Porsche. Oh, my goodness. There's some very special kit there. I'll tell you that much. And that's not it. In fact, you come out here. And there's more supercars, those are F1 cars, but then there are more 
supercars. Check it out. I hope you guys are not getting dizzy. I know this is a very, very quick walk around that I'm having to do because I've actually got to get back. I've got to rush back to the BYD hall now um, and basically kick off, <laughs> kick off proceedings there. I've got to do this. is really nice. What a lovely color that is. Check that out. That's absolutely beautiful. Um, I've got to kick off proceedings there. Um, and then what I won't be able to show you, but I might try and do that in another video, is what's at the far end. So at the far end, so this is the thing. This is the crazy thing about the British Motor Show. It's like when you get to this bit, when you've seen the supercars and when you've see, seen all the live action arena stuff, which is just down here. So you've got live action arena. There's a bunch of GT, beautiful GT40s. I'll show you those in a minute. So there's a bunch of stuff here. But when you get to this bit here and the ice cream van and these cars here and you think, oh, that's it. Is that the whole British Motor Show? No, 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 no. Not at all. In fact, like I said, I haven't got time right now to run down there, but if you look over my shoulder, over there, you might just be able to make up a giant duck. You can make out a giant duck over there, an inflatable duck. That's where all the motorsport stuff is going on, like modified cars, classic car scene is all over there as well, and a whole bunch of other stuff, including the uh, car football is happening over there, and the uh, petrol hedonism exhibition is there, petrol hedonism uh, live demos are there. But look at these, look at these. Check that out. Now, in addition to that, check this. Corvettes. The Corvettes are here. The classic, look at this. This is the first one, and that's the latest one. This is the first uh, American car that I reviewed, actually. This generation. There you go. But check this out. Oh, look at this. This is the longest mobility scooter. <laughs> that is the shed, of course. These are some cra these are crazy creations, and you'll actually see these out in the main arena as well. You'll be able to see them. Look at that Danger Mouse car. That's crazy. And then you've got the mini there, trike there. Look at this Batmobile. Isn't that crazy? I love this Batmobile. Check it out. I wonder what that is based on. Can anybody tell me what that might be based on? Let's have a look at the interior. That might give it away. Again, making massive headways. Ford, maybe? What do you reckon? It's got the wings. Look at that. This is so cool. Wow. But rear visibility is not great. Have you seen the sticker bombing interior? That's so nice. And you can hear my brewer is off. He's off. He's a much more stylish vehicle than what Samuel used to be. And so cheap. And they come with like a 10 year guarantee. That's very nice. This is the main arena. Very quiet, but I heard a diesel engine there. There is a diesel in there somewhere. And a lot of it. So there you go. That's a quick walk around of just this part of the. Um, because I'm going to head back now to the uh, to my bit, the tech hub, and what I'll try and do is I'll try and bring another video and try and show you the other bit down there, but I'll need a bit of time to get down there, so I'll do my best, but anyway, but you know what, come down, have a look at yourself, there's loads and loads of stuff to see and do, it's simply fantastic, no other word for it, motoring event of the year, if you're not here, where are you?
Two wheels, two wheels, two wheels, two wheels. He needs to get it across the arena. On two wheels, clap! That's yeah, amazing. come on! Come drop on. it down, now he's got to drop it down. Now he's got reverse, that car do a J-turn in between the two very expensive cinch motor cars. Here comes the J-turn. Oh, no, this no. Oh, absolutely no. Look at that. Oh, Around he goes to the bottom of the arena. Now come he's on, still Paul. over the ramp. Come on, as he can. Come on, Paul. Do the job, do the job. Yes! Okay, so he jumps over the white line. He's hit the handbrake. Here he comes for the parallel park. Come on, this is the big one. This is the big one. Come on, Paul. Inside the box. Yes! He's in the parallel park. Come on, come on. Paul's the car. He's running across to the Mustang. Come on, come on, Paul. You can move it. Uh, no, he's going for it. He's found the button, but is it too late? That's Come two. on, Paul. This will be two there. Come and on, this Paul. This will be the third one. He's coming around for the third and one. Across the line. And stop. He's done it. <laughs> Sustain is the name of the fuel, and it blew my mind what it has the ability of doing. So much so, to give you the headline, it basically means you can drive that car down the road and look down your nose at Tesla owners, <laughs> which is the truth. Because uh, currently as it stands, you're greener in that, burning your fuel than you are in a Tesla. Yeah, I'll tell you why. I mean, if you're looking at classic cars, they've paid off what we call a carbon debt. Brown car guy. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please, please hit the like button and share this video as well if you can. And while you're at it, check out these guys who also sponsor my content. I am deeply grateful to them because it helps me to buy new equipment, put fuel in the cars, and yes, buy a cup of coffee. You can do the same. Just go here or right here on YouTube. Just hit these three little dots down here and click on thanks. Make sure you're signed in first. My content is free. But this is how you can help me keep it that way. I may even send you a gift. Oh, by the way, watch this next. <laughs>